Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea Dynan. I am founder of Live Simple Collective, an online community where you can learn about simple living and essentialism. Today I wanted to start a new series with you that I'm really excited about. It's going to be all about home, home design, home decor, and intentionally designing a home space that speaks to you. I'm going to be teaching you different ways to incorporate minimalism into your home where you won't see clutter, but you will have a space that feels like home, that feels warm and inviting. If you don't already, be sure to also follow me over on Instagram at Chelsea Dynan because I am so passionate about minimalistic home design and home decor and really just creating a home space. So I'm constantly posting over there about little tips and tricks that I have and you'll also get some sneak peeks into my own home. So today's video as a basis to all of this is really going to be about busting this myth that to have a minimalist home means your space is going to be cold, uninviting, and maybe even a little bit sterile feeling. It's just not the case. I know I too have seen many minimalist homes that do feel really stark and dull and a little bit cold. I know for me, and especially probably for many other women out there, there's just really something about creating a home space that feels like home. <laughs> a place where you can come back and snuggle up and read a book or cook a delicious meal and just really enjoy your time in your home. It's been really important for me to design a home that speaks to me and that also speaks of me and reflects my interests and personality. While also keeping my minimalist style, not having much clutter, not having much in sight, only the things that really speak to me. So I don't want you to think that because you are adopting a minimalist mindset that your home can no longer feel homey and that you can't have beautiful decor that makes you happy to be home. You don't have to forfeit those things at all, and I don't want you to think that you have to. Sure, you will see many minimalists who don't have anything up on the walls, and who really do keep things very, very, very minimal. And if that's your style and that's what you want, then great. But if you do want a home where you can infuse more of your creativity and design into, then absolutely feel free to. So if you're just getting started on your journey into essentialism and simple living and really minimizing what is in your home, you can use color and texture and different elements to really incorporate a streamlined look that works for you. So to get you started, if you are just starting out on designing your home space with a minimalist aesthetic, then here are some things to keep in mind. The first thing is that you do want a particular color scheme. You either want to stick to neutrals or maybe black, white, gray, and then throw some pops of color in there. So by doing this, by choosing a more neutral palette and sticking to solid colors, at least in your main pieces in your home, this will give that streamlined look that you want. So for me personally, and if you guys do want a small home tour, I'm not going to do my whole house, but if you want me to maybe walk you through my living room, which is where I spend most of my time, then leave a comment down below and let me know and maybe I will do that. Um, but for me, I have chosen colors that really speak to me. So this chair that I'm sitting on that you see in all of my videos is a nice aqua color. It's a solid color, no patterns, and it really works with the navy blue couch. It almost looks black, but it's a really deep navy. So aside from my couch and this chair, everything else is generally black, white, or wood. And then find some pops of color. So for me, I like to use metallics. I have some copper and some gold, which I don't think you can really see. So that's just a little bit about the colors that I have chosen. The second thing that I recommend is to really decide on a style that you wanna go with. There are several different minimalist themes going around with home decor out there. I have personally merged a little bit of mid-century modern with Scandinavian design. That's personally just what speaks to me and I love it and I found a lot of pieces that kind of merge those two styles and movements together and it works great for my space. So I would recommend getting on Pinterest. If you're interested, I will leave my Pinterest link down below so that you can follow me there. 
I am constantly looking for new inspiration on how to style my space, how to move things around, and I find a lot of my inspiration there on Pinterest. So you can click below and follow me there. So again, find what works for you. Spend some time digging around onto Pinterest and getting that inspiration and finding living rooms and bedrooms and kitchens. Find out maybe what that type of design is and what I do if I am looking for a specific item, again, I like to consciously shop. So if I'm going out shopping for something that I need, I take pictures with me. Perhaps you are looking for new picture frames. Pinterest is a great resource for you to get online and to find different looks that really speak to you so that when you are walking into the store, you're not just aimlessly buying picture frames that you end up not liking. I really find it helpful to find pictures that look a lot like something that I want my space to look like and then when I go into the store and I'm looking for whatever that item is, I can look at my pictures and say, okay, these are similar, this is what I want. If I don't find that, I walk out, I leave without buying anything. It's really helped me personally to have those visuals when I am looking for the pieces in my home that I'm gonna be able to keep around for a while that are gonna work with the items that I already have. So those are the two helpful tips that I have for you if you are getting started. So again, number one is to decide on a color palette, come up with a theme for the colors that you wanna use. Again, I recommend sticking to a more neutral palette for your core pieces. So for your furniture, your pillows, your carpeting. And then the second thing, once you've decided on your color palette, or maybe even if you need help deciding on your color palette, is to go onto Pinterest. There's so many different things that you can search for that will give you those results, get your brain kind of going and thinking and planning. And then when you do go out to maybe purchase some items that you need, such as baskets to stow things away in, or pillows to really make your couch feel homey and complete, then you'll have an idea of what you're looking for and you won't just go in aimlessly. Again, remember that your home does not have to be cold and impersonal. It can be homey and inviting and comfortable. And I don't know about you, but that's the way I want my home to feel. And I've found a way to do that while you can still have that minimalistic feel in your home and you can still have a very clean, simple home. I hope that this has helped. If you guys would like to see more of this home series, then please leave a comment down below and let me know, and that way I will create more videos. If you guys have any specific questions or requests for videos on minimalistic home design, then be sure to leave those down below as well, and that way I know how I can most help you. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so that you never miss a video about essentialism, simple living, and especially this series because I'm really excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.